once again, I invite you to turn your attention to our screens on the side as we celebrate our 2023 St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award winner. This year's St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award recipient possesses many of our beloved foundress's attributes. Her youthful determination and spirit, her quickness to provide support under any circumstance, and her ability to bring a positive outlook and zeal to any situation are just a few of the similarities. Like our saint, Margaret McElroy was a pioneer and leader in her field for more than 50 years. Margaret was born in Dallas, Texas and moved with her family to Chatham, Virginia in 1949. Following graduation from St. Mary of the Woods College in 1963, Margaret attended graduate school at the University of Virginia where she studied speech language pathology and audiology, earning a master's degree in 1965. Following graduation, Margaret entered the novitiate of the Sisters of Providence. She soon arrived in Orange County, California to assist the then Sister Anne Monica in opening the Providence Speech and Hearing Center. Margaret started as a speech language pathologist and was promoted to the center's first director of audiology services in 1965. She furthered her education by studying audiology at Vanderbilt University, where she received a second master's degree in 1970. After leaving the Sisters of Providence and returning to Virginia to care for her father who was in declining health, Margaret found her home at the University of Virginia. With dual certification in audiology and speech language pathology, Margaret joined the university as the director of clinical audiology in 1972. At that time, the university had never had an audiology supervisor with her breadth of responsibility, including clinical training and internships. Margaret worked with her colleagues to expand the program and increase clinical opportunities for their students. Rooted in the foundation of her education at St. Mary of the Woods College, Margaret devoted her career and personal time to the service of others. Following her call to serve, she became a leader in the emerging field of audiology she chose a helping profession within the field of speech, hearing, and communication disorders and distinguished herself professionally among her peers. During her time at the university, Margaret published nine scholarly articles. Along with a friend and colleague, Judith Rossi, in 1992, she published the book, The Education of Audiologists and Speech Language Pathologists. Throughout her distinguished career, Margaret's accomplishments and contributions have been recognized by many. She was named a fellow of the Speech, Language, and Hearing Associations of both Virginia and America. Margaret was honored by ASHA with the Louis M. DiCarlo Award, by the Communication Disorders Foundation with the Martha Mullins Colander Award, and by the Sisters of Providence with the St. Mother Theodore Guerin Companion Award. To quote the DiCarlo Award announcement, Margaret is valued and admired not only for her efficient approach to excellent clinical practice, but also for her sophisticated insight into the interpretation of clinical results and the maturity of her interpersonal relations with both patients and colleagues. Since retiring in 1996, Margaret has kept very busy. She remains active in Virginia's Speech and Hearing Associations, is president of the Board of Directors for Our Lady of Peace, a diocesan retirement facility, is serving as a patient advocate at Centara Martha Jefferson Hospital, and is the 1963 class agent, a role she has held for 12 years. In addition, she is a member of the Interfaith Movement Promoting Action by Congregations Together team and is an active member of her parish where she serves as a Eucharistic minister. Margaret is an exemplary alumna of faith who walks in the footsteps of St. Mother Theodore Guerin, using her gifts to improve the lives of others. She is a humble woman who quietly reflects God's love and abundant grace in the world, and one who has forwarded the mission of Mother Theodore Guerin with steadfast dedication. It gives St. Mary of the Woods College great pride to present Margaret McElroy, class of 1963, with the 2023 St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award.
your reflection. Sorry. I am humbled and privileged to receive the St. Mother Theodore Guerin Award. In no way am I worthy of identifying with any of St. Mother Theodore's many noteworthy attributes and accomplishments. She was a skilled businesswoman, leader and beloved general superior of the Sisters of Providence. During her almost 16 years in Indiana, she advanced education, founded schools, and cared for orphans, the sick, and the poor, all the while being plagued with a damaged digestive system known to be associated with smallpox. Seven members of the class of 1963 attended her canonization in October 2006. Five of us are here this weekend. My family's history with St. Mary of the Woods College began prior to 1924, when my maternal grandfather had a conversation with a man on a passenger train whose daughter was at the woods. Consequently, our family had uh, class years from 1928 to 1990. It includes three generations and six alums. My mother, two aunts, two cousins, and me. I know Mother would be very pleased with this award. <laughs> I am delighted that my cousins, Gretchen Griffith Clement, class of 54, and her daughter, Margaret Clement Slaywin, class of 1990, are here with us tonight. <laughs> Along with my very caring brother, Ed, and his equally caring wife, Pat. Ed has always been fascinated with the fact that both mother and I lived in La Faire. <laughs> I regret that my sister and other brother could not join us this weekend because of health issues. My hope is that all alums are proud to be associated with this institution of higher learning. Time does not change the building of character, independence, and self-discipline. No matter the years, our respected and beloved St. Mary of the Woods College remains strong and viable. It is our responsibility as alums to be an active part of efforts to ensure future generations will benefit from the college's unique legacy. Above all, we are grateful to Dottie King and her team for their impressive leadership, which has enabled St. Mary of the Woods College to reach unanticipated heights in many categories. Regarding my own life, it has been, it has been blessed in numerous ways a loving and supportive family, meaningful experiences, exceptional friends and mentors, and a treasured relationship with the Sisters of Providence. The refrain of the hymn, God is so good, serves as a summary of my life. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good. He's so good to me. I thank you sincerely for this distinct honor of the St. Mother Theodore Garin Award.